In this short video, we're going to demonstrate how you can log in via remote desktop to your new company server using Windows Remote Desktop. The procedure is the same whether you're using Windows 7, Windows 10, or Windows 8. You select the Start button in the lower left-hand corner, which will expose a text field. In that field, we'd like you to type the word Remote. That will in turn expose the icon for Remote Desktop within that Start menu. Go ahead and select that to start the process. Okay, now you're going to have a computer field. Here we need you to type in the server IP address provided to you by your server administrator. It's going to be, you know, something something dot something dot something dot something and so on. And then click the connect button. Once you click the connect button, you're going to be asked for your credentials. You'll type in your username, but most importantly, you need to get the word domain matter with a slash before your username. That'll make, because it needs to verify you're part of the server's domain. And then, of course, your password as provided by your server administrator. And to make things uh, a little bit easier, make sure you hit the Remember Me button so you don't have to go through this step the next time. And click OK. Server certificate comes up next. Now, not everybody's going to see this. But if it does come up, you have to click yes in order to be able to proceed. After that last click, your Windows desktop environment should quickly become visible. The version of Windows that you see is wholly dependent upon the version your company has chosen for your CompuMatter server. In this case, the client has chosen Windows 7, but your company may have chosen something different. A couple of things to note here. First, each remote user gets their own private desktop computer. Whatever files, folders, browser favorites, notes that you create are only visible by you, unless, of course, your server administrator or you want to override this behavior. The way CompuMatter servers work is unique. No desktop computers are required by the client. This Windows desktop that you are looking at is actually created on the fly. It's a virtual machine or parasite within the company's CompuMatter server. The owner of this server simply allows certain users, such as yourself, to access this. And the rest is as easy as what you just experienced. In addition, each day, whatever you do is backed up safely two different ways. The first way, we back up each Windows desktop to the server's internal backup drives which are saved on your location, on the client's location. The second way is we encrypt and send that same data to off-site data centers so anything you do is recoverable no matter what happens. This means whether you forget to back up your QuickBooks data or not, ultimately doesn't matter because we've got your back. Your CompuMatter server is backing it up twice a day, every day. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye-bye.